everybody, welcome to the Black Sheep Props channel. I'm Steve and I'm here to teach you the tips, tools, techniques, and materials for building your very own super cool EVA foam props. Now in our last episode, making an EVA foam Batman grapnel gun, part one, you saw us build the kind of complicated main body piece that we used the bandsaw for. You saw us slip in these two body pieces and you saw us make these elaborate circle details on the side. Now we mentioned before that if you don't have a bandsaw, it's kind of tough to cut the inch thick foam out in that kind of detail. So do two cuts. Use a half inch piece of foam, transfer your template, cut it out with an X-Acto knife and do it twice and then stick the two together. And then you can use your Dremel to take off any loose edges, but you can do it without a bandsaw by doing two half inch pieces instead of one one inch piece. So, so far so good, everything went down great. Now in this episode, making an EVA foam Batman grapnel gun part two. Pow, we got a ton of details we're gonna finish up all in this one episode. It's gonna rock and it's gonna take a lot of work. It's not hard, it's just a lot. So. If you're ready to hit it, let's make something. All right, now what we're going to do is we're gonna begin cutting these five strips that are gonna wrap around this bottom piece. And then what we did was we took an extra piece of foam and we wrapped it around so that we could get the exact measurement. Now we know when we come in here and we put our marks down, right here and right here, we know that's the perfect length. All right, there we go. Maybe we're going to make a dot. Okay. And we're going to follow it around. There we go. Lay it down. Now we'll just do the rest of them. We measured, drew our line, and we wrapped it around. All right, we've got our line marked. All right, there's our first set of pieces. Now these are gonna go right in between those and they're gonna be a little bit thicker. And we line it right up against that other piece. Now we're just going to follow all the way down using our super glue. And then we lay it down. All right, there we go. Very cool. All right, now we've wrapped this piece around exactly where it needs to attach. And we made our marks. attach this. This is going to come right there in the middle where it's supposed to attach. And we're going to hold it down while it bonds. And then this is going to go right about there. We're going to put a little bit on that piece. And we're going to smooth it out. I'm going to stick that down. All right, just like that. The back of our piece is all wet. We're gonna center it right in the middle, just like that. Same thing with this little piece, get it all wet. Hold it down while it bonds on both sides. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to start building this contraption in the middle, which is going to look like that. Which is okay, now we're going to start by taking our big dowel, which is going to be this end piece. Now we're going to go over the bandsaw and we're just going to slice this off. 
and this is going to be right in there. We're going to have to cut just a tiny bit of the edge off of this. We're going to tilt our knife on an angle. We're going to slice right through. So we took just a little edge off. Perfect. Nice. We just cut a little bit of the angle off so that it fits with this angle right here. All right, there we go. Now this is going to slip right in there like that perfectly, but we're going to have to cut a little bit of an angle off of the dowel here so it fits in place. It should fit in there perfectly. Okay, now we measured out our one last piece that's going to go right in between these two and we just need to cut that out. Nice. And we have our crosshairs drawn on there, so we know those are going to be centered when we attach them. Take an extra little piece of foam. Make our mark. Now we know that's how long of a piece we need. You want to add a couple strips on there. So we're going to do... Alright, there's our marks. Now we know where we're cutting. Second long cut, now we're going to do these really thin strips. And we have our board out so we don't destroy our cutting mat. Alright, there we go. Everything's measured, cut, and heat sealed. Time to build it. There we go. All right, there you go. Just like that. We're going to lay it down and hold it while it bonds. Rolling it down and holding it while it bonds. Line it up with the end of our other piece, like that. There's the thick one. Now we're just going to take these two thin ones and we're going to do those next. All right, there we go. Just like that. All right, now you see them there where we made our marks. We're gonna contact cement here and here. And right in here. Okay, there we go, give it five minutes. All right, time for contact. All right, now we gotta get in here. We gotta be careful because we've got contact cement on here so we don't want anything to touch till we get it in place which I think we are in place right there and there and there all right all right all right we're bending the foam we got to give it a few minutes to dry so we're just going to hold it apart like that. We're going to go stand by the fan and we're going to get it dry. Perfect. Oh my gosh, that's cool. All right, now we're going to go in and we're going to put some little detail pieces in some of these areas. All right, now we're going to begin cutting these little detail pieces out on a thick piece of foam. I think we're at about a half inch here. Yeah, half inch foam. Keep the knife at a 90 degree angle, just like that. Now because these have intricate little corners, we're in this a thick piece of foam. We're going to go hit this on the bandsaw real quick. All right, we got our little corner cut with the bandsaw. These areas are too small. We're not gonna stick our fingers in there. So box cutter at a nice 90 degree and then 
just like that. Take it off and there you go. And like that. Alright, now we're going to come in with our Dremel. Alright, there we go. Nice round corner. Now there's some bandsaw marks on this guy right here, so we're going to come in with our 220. And we're going to stick this in because it's not with super glue. We can move it a little bit. Get it in there. Nice and tight like that. We're going to hold it while it bonds. All right. Now the next two will be easy. And we're going to come in and we're going to put this right where it's supposed to go like that. Ready to swing from building to building with this bad boy. And stick it in there. Nice little extra piece in there. Nah. All right, now we're going to cut our two nozzles out. <clears throat> we sharpened our brass tube because it's the perfect size for this little front one. So we're going to come in. We're going to start spinning our brass tube. There we go. On second thought, that circle was way too small to try to do on the bandsaw. We started to do it and realized this is not a good idea, not safe. So we canned it, stopped right away, tossed it, and we're going to come in with the X-Acto knife. We're going to cut our little beveled nozzle with an X-Acto knife, which you can totally do. So stick to the inside of our Sharpie line. We're going to start it on an angle, and we're going to... Boom, right there. All right, here we go. Let's check it out. Oh, get the heck out of here. Look at that. Look at that bevel cut. See what I mean? You can do this without a bandsaw if the foam is thin enough. That is a sweet, sweet beveled cut right there. I mean sweet. Little teeny little right there, but we can get that off with the sanding stick. Oh, wow. Man, oh man, that tightens up nice. All right, whole thing's got cement on it, or actually super glue on it. We're gonna come in, we're gonna get that right in the center, just like that. There in the center, just like that. Very cool. All right, now we're gonna come in with our Dremel, and we're gonna use our bit, and we're gonna make the rivet details. One, there's two, look at that. Rivet detail, rivet detail. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're gonna start assembling the handle. And what we've done here is we set all of our pieces for the handle up with a square line around them so that we could cut out our pieces of foam all to be the same size. So we know when we sandwich this together, everything's gonna work perfectly. So, woo, oh yeah, that's ready to go. We're gonna go at the same speed through the whole thing, just like that, and just like that. Ta-da! Now we flip it over and we do this side. All right, there we go. We got our lines burned on both sides. Very okay, next we're gonna cut out our two windows using our X-Acto knife. Now when we attach these all together, you're gonna to look through the handle to the detail on the inside. So we're gonna come in, we're gonna stack everything up, we're gonna attach it together, and then we're gonna cut our handle out, we're gonna have this sweet detail on both sides. Easy. Inside heat seal, because this is where we're going to be gluing. All right, there we go. Give it five minutes and then bam, contact. That's it. All right, same as we did last time. Line our bottom up. Dig it.
Right on, man. Check that out. And this was okay, so now we're creating this little wrap that's going to go around the bottom of the handle. So we took our template and we transferred it over to foam. There's the handle. Uh, all right, now we're going to come in with the Dremel and we're going to round out all these edges. We're gonna all right, we've got our dust mask on. All right, look at that. That is nice. Now we're going to come in with our 220. Since we dremeled and we used our sanding sticks, now we're going to use our heat gun to seal it, get our foam nice and tight. Great Scott, look how nice that is with the rounded edges, really smooth handle, that is nice. Okay, now this piece is going to wrap right around our handle like that. And what we did was we transferred the line around so we know where we're going to contact cement. All right, we've got both contact cemented. Give it a few minutes. Stick it on just like that. All right, now we're just going to begin wrapping it. Lay it down flush with the bottom. All right, now let's see. Our, our piece looks like it's going to be a little long here. So try not to touch it down, but we're going to have to make a little mark. Okay, see that little mark right there? That's where we got to cut. Right there. So we're going to come in here. We're going to super glue down on just that end, just like that. All right. Okay, now what we did is we made our marks where we need to contact cement in there and in here. All right, ready to go. We're going to line right up on our mark. We're going to come around to this side. Make sure that we're centering the whole thing, which we are. Get the heck out of here. Holy cow. All right, here's a little leftover plug we had from another build, which we made using a brass tube. We're going to come right in here to the handle. We're going to get it in the center just like that. All right, there's our little button on the handle. Okay, now the last detail we have is we're going to do two rivet details with the Dremel on the handle. There's one. And there's the other one. Let's come around to this side. All right, there's two rivet details on both sides of the handle. Let's put a couple up here. That looks like it's dying for a rivet. Chalk full of jamming rivets. All right, now we've transferred our templates over to foam to make our claw that's going to go on the end of our grapnel gun. All right, so we cut out our six pieces for the hinges, we cut out our three claws, we cut out the base of our piece that sticks out of the nozzle, out of a EVA foam dowel, and now this last piece we're going to have to cut on a bevel. So we're going to use the X-Acto knife and our little piece of foam, spin all the way around our foam with our knife slightly tilted. There's our beveled circle. We're going to clean this up with the Dremel and some sanding sticks. Now let's slowly go around it, cut off some of the tiny little flyaway stuff that's around the back edge, which is not a problem.
right on our two little bottom pieces. We're going to use our extra piece of foam to smooth out our super glue. We're going to bring this right in on the edge like that. All right, there we go. There's one side. Really cool. We're going to hold it there while it bonds. All right, check that out. That is cool. The claws are closed, but then after you shoot it, they open up. Very cool. I was going to leave them open, but they were a little bit wobbly and looked kind of cheesy. So I figured this way, they're not bouncing around like they were before. So this is like pre-launch mode, I guess. Woo -hoo -hoo. Man, that was a lot of work we crammed into one episode, but all done with the build, everything went down perfectly. Tons and tons of details. You saw them all, lots of insets, lots of cavities. Uh, lots of steps and angles, really cool build, and not hard. Um, so, that concludes Making an EVA Foam Batman Grapnel Gun Part 2. Hope you liked it. Uh, if you did, give us a like, share us with a friend, and subscribe to this channel. And together, we're going to go step by step through a lot more super cool builds so that you get the props you deserve. Thanks for coming. See you next time.